Hello and welcome to another video from S400K177. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick little review, uh, nothing too long, on my air arms of the rifle that I use 90% of the time. It's the air arms S400F carbine super light on my SIN 177. Um, it's the um, super light version, so the stock is in hunter's green and as you can see, like a, a brown. Um, it's a it's a, look, it's a Manelli stock um, made in Italy. Um, it's a real nice ambidextrous stock, so it's good for le uh, right-handed shooters. Sorry, on the other side, left hand. As far as I know, you can buy a bolt for this action that supports a left-hander, but as it is now, me being right-handed, it's a right-hander. So. It's got a two-stage, um, I believe it's a CD trigger, um, not 100% sure, um, I know it was a CD trigger uh, mentioned on the Air Arms Pro Sport and TX200, so that's just a long shot guess size. Um, as you can see the two bolts, just in there, sorry, two screws, first stage, second stage, um, to adjust there. And I believe that one at the front is to adjust how soft and hard you want the trigger. The only downside, and it is obviously a downside, is that safety on the trigger and not fast on all whatsoever. Things are a bit silly, but um, I can't fault them because the gun overall is flawless. I think it's excellent. Uh, this is the carbine model, so slightly shorter than the normal rifle model. I believe the rifle one I think is more or less the A cylinder round about by there. Obviously a longer barrel. This being a carbine I believe it comes with the air arm science as standard. If not I think it's definitely a must. You, you, it's a necessity. You've got to shoot these carbines with um, a science. So I not the science. As I said, it's an air arm silencer. Um, just unscrew it, and it goes on to the air arms silencer adapter. There, as you can see, it's got a screw underneath. I believe it's a grub screw. Just goes onto the barrel, but it's got a lovely, nice, flush finish. Normally, when you see finishes like that, or when I see finishes like that. I swear, I know the you know, anti the quality is there. Um, as far as I know, these are um, they have Walther um, barrels. Um, I'm not sure if it's match grade two or something like that, but they are. These are good, not good, <laughs> excellent barrels. Sorry, they are. They work wonders. Um, I don't find this a pellet, pellet fussy gun. I really, really don't. Um, find that at all. I mean, uh, here's my shoes and the pellets that I'm using on it. Um, I'm showing these first, out of Blast Superfield, because I believe these are the cheapest. So, out of Blast Superfield, 177, 4.51 mil, yeah, there, yeah, 4.51 mil head size, 8.4 grain. Um, and getting them roughly £5 a ton. Yeah, that's right, I same as my brother Superdome. £5 a ton, then. Um, now these are... I haven't actually used these yet, but i got a couple left. It's the old Air Arms Field Diablos. I got all work pretty well. Um, so like that. Uh, I believe they are 4.52mm head size, and I think, as far as I'm aware, they're the same weight as the Superfield. 8. Oh, I think, yeah. So they're the older ones. Um, I'll pick up a new tin and try them in future videos. So I got them to try. The ones that I'm on at the minute, I am on such two. As I showed in one of my other videos. JSB Exact 177, and these are 4.52. So the head size is slightly bigger, slightly wider. And these have been washed and lubed. I washed and lube all of them. Um, th these have been weighed. Uh, yeah, weighed. Um, I am going on them yet. And these are just straight out of the tin, and I've got to be flipped there. Flawless, absolutely flawless. These 
um, because I, I washed them and lubed them, but I haven't weighed them or checked, sorry, for deformat days, and they, they work in one does. So I'm just waiting for this weather to die down a bit now, to um, to get some good accuracy with uh, these pellets. Um, another cheap pellet that um, I've tried before for plinking and just having a bit of fun. Um, I haven't done too bad in the targets, but I find these are tight, excellent groups. Um, obviously, not tried these yet, but I've viewed, obviously, they work well in their own gun. But these, these, these are exceptionally well. When I shot these, I thought, oh, they, you know, they're not, um, they're not bad at all. They're excellent, and I thought, well, could I get any better? That's the answer, then. Now, I'm not saying that works on all Aram's S400s, I'm just saying it works on my one. So, and as far as I'm aware, Aram's pellets are built, made, manufactured in Czech. Republic Czechoslovakia and I'm not 100% sure I'm sure I've read or heard somewhere on the forums JSB make them so Milbro TRs 177 um, I'm not a lover I've gone off the old like super domes you know they got the lands on the skirt and things like that the short stubby pellet um, I think it's about 7.9 7.9 the weight Let's see if I can just and improvise it was a bit better. Uh, um, and it's got twin rings, uh, giving it a good seal through the barrel. And I've got to be fair, they are quiet. I thought they would have made a bit of a buzzing or whistling noise through the air like super domes, but no, they hit pretty hard. Um, but like, as I said, I've just used them plinking and just I've done a few targets. They're not bad for what I paid. I think they, they worked out about three pounds something a tin. So I mean, Middlebrough, made in Scotland. They're not bad at all. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't even. <laughs> you know, I don't have to buy some. I've already got them. I must have uh, had them from the uh, one of my springers, which don't make sense. I've tried them on a spring gun, and I am tried them on my own ear arms. Yeah, they 8.4 grain, which are the same as the Superfield. Um, just trying to look up what size. Ah, oh, there they are. Try and fiddle a sack. No. Made Czech Republic. And they have 4.52. So same as I'm, same as I'm. Just interesting. Maybe the 4.52s work better on my gun. So um here we are there. I'm just trying to think what else now to go over. Um oh yeah, uh, back to the review. Forget what I'm doing. <laughs> right. It um it's got a eight arms. Um, 250 bar gauge, which um, say they need they to be filled to about 190 bar, but um, I charge it to around about I think it's about between 175 and one um, one 75 and 178. I find the sweet spot on you, and um, what I mean by the sweet spot, if you're not too sure, is um, is um, how can I explain it? Uh, when you pump it up, it's the most consistent range of the power curve. Obviously, you know, the power curve sort of does that sort of thing. So it's the most efficient and consistent part of where the rifle shoots. So, hence the name, sweet spot. So, um, it's got a nice trigger guard. I like that. It's got a little access area so you can um, access it. I think it's just the one bolt there. I think they're the trigger mechanism. One bolt there and the stock comes off. It's laser checkered. I just want to show that off. It's got the eight arms logo. Laser checkered. Fantastic grip. Um, it's got a rubber butt pad with. I'm just trying to see what it says on the back. BMR on the back. Um, I fitted the um, two studs front and rear to fit um, sling, which was off my brother as a Christmas present. Ridgeline of New Zealand uh, foam pattern, neoprene I think it is actually pattern, and it's got the rubber on the back, which I find works well if you you know if you want to rest the gun or something like that. It sits well on the shoulder, got adjustments on it, and quick release swivels, just unscrew it, pull the bar out, job done. So um, I find this gun's really quiet, and excellent. I just can't fault it. Oh, accurate, accurate it is. I'm just going to do a quick 
dry fire. Check, no, no, nothing in there. Just to show how pretty, pretty close, just so you can. There. <laughs> absolutely quiet, and that's in an enclosed space. So, um, there we are. Um, let's go into the scope quickly. This video is dragging on now. Um, the Pasco 6x24x50 AO is an adjustable objective piece. Um, and that's E. Oh, as far as I know, electronic. So it's uh, illuminated. In English, illuminated. Which means, let's have a demonstration, if I can. Stay with me a sec. I like that. So. Oh, no, I can see the cross there. Excellent. Um, just let's right, see if I can hold this still. That's the red. It's a bit extreme there. Turn it down. Yeah. That's the red. And that's green. As you can see, it's got the mill dots on various the name of points, and which I work, I find works very well for longer ranges. Um, the last one I have is a Nico, Sto uh, Nico Sterling um, 4x12 by 50 AO, how illuminated. Excellent scope. You couldn't ask for more. Ask more from a scope. But I thought, right, it's about time now. That I upgrade, so I went for that. I think the Nico only came to about there. Um, that was a f that was excellent. I scored really, really well. I still got there now for the spring gun, one of the spring guns. But this is excellent. Uh, something I noticed: you can't put f fit these scopes just any old gun because obviously a break barrel. If you go break the barrel, I find on my other gun it comes to about there, so it just don't work. It's no good. So um, I'm gonna just get a bit more. I'll show the turrets off as well quickly. They're pretty. I find they're cool. You know, we can leave these caps off for a bit and just, you know, just adjust um, to adjust the lift it up and twist either way. And uh, you know, job done. Can you scroll over there? The magnification. Make sure it's not cross threaded. And as I said, adjustable at the front. So overall package, I think it's absolutely excellent. I've got confidence in the rifle, confidence in the ammo. I just need a little bit more practice now. Um, as the old saying, practice makes perfect. So, hope you've enjoyed. Um, keep an eye out for future uh, videos. Um, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.